So this Loggy lives, lives at Best Care. She's got an injury on her head. And this is Hope. Uh, Hope uh, was rescued by Embark uh, when, she, um, when he met with an accident and he's blind. So Hope now lives um, at Best Care. So we're going to see the, the very sick and injured dogs now. Hello Molly! So this is White who was rescued a few days ago. Um, the neighbours said that he had been um, left um, outside when, when the people in the home had left and then he met with an accident but he's very very old and uh, not very well at all. Hello! You want a biscuit? This is Windy. Windy is also very old and uh, partly paralyzed. Can stand but can't walk very far. Andy, what has happened? Huh? What has happened to you, Wilma? This is Wilma. Uh, Wilma had a huge swollen bleeding eye and they had to operate it and remove the eye. So you can see she has no eye now. Uh, so when we, uh, Wilma recovers, uh, the people who found her and rescued her and brought her to us will, will adopt her. They have said that they want to adopt her and, and give her a good life. This is Michael. Michael was brought with a big wound on his side, but now the doctors say that they think he's got a tumour inside his lungs and that uh, that's why he's finding it very difficult to breathe. Clever boy! Clever boy! Hello doggies! Hello! <laughs> this is Kaito. Kaito met with an accident and he broke his leg and uh, unfortunately it can't be fixed uh, because it has twisted um, really badly so he to have his leg amp amputated this week um, but after that he'll be okay and uh, he'll have to get used to running around on three legs which they do quite well and then after that he'll be looking for his home so if you would like to adopt Kaito um, please let us know here for you <laughs> and for you so this is the pedigree Dalmatian that we rescued recently uh, from Nigambo he has been abandoned and um, with a big uh, cancer so we thank Shilpa for helping, uh, for helping us out with, with uh, this doggy Paxo and I think she has renamed him Pongo. This is Murphy, we rescued Murphy um, after someone had thrown acid or some form of chemical on him to burn him. And uh, you can see he's lost his ear, he has a big wound on his back. Uh, but he's recovering now, and uh, uh, but he has a long way to go, and he's very frightened. As you can see, I can't go too close because he's shivering so much. Um, so it's, it's you know it's clear that all animals feel and the same pain, the same same fear uh, that we do, and also the same joy and happiness that we do. And it's unfortunate that um, that many have decided to not recognize that and to to live our human lives disconnected from the feelings that animals have. We must go back to being connected, back to nature, back to um, the lives of animals so that we understand and live in this world connected as a whole to all beings. This is Helen. Uh, Helen is very, very old and uh, looks like she has been abandoned because she's so old. There are many like Helen but there's only um, so much that we can do and um, so please if you ever get the opportunity to to look after a Helen, a one who has been abandoned, uh, please do that and, and help one of them at least live the last few, few months and years of their life in, in, in a peaceful, happy place where they don't need to struggle to survive. Each one of them as you can see is, is very different and sometimes very heartbreaking when it actually happens but of course they have a, 
a chance now of, of getting a better life. Um, so please do your own rescues. Please um, see how you can make a difference even for one dog. It'll really help uh, me and everyone else who's, who's, in this, who's doing this um, on a day-to-day -day basis um, to achieve what we want to achieve, which is a, life, a better life for the street dogs of Sri Lanka.